Hi, I'm Eric van der Schriek. I've been a teacher at Fontes ICT for about eight years now. I'm teaching for the English stream for about two and a half, three years now. And I really like it here because I meet a lot of uh, students. I get new ideas um, and new inputs. I can use it in my work and distribute it along, uh, alongside other students as well. Uh, I'm a software engineering uh, teacher, so I mostly teach students how to develop software. That, that doesn't mean I only teach uh, programming and a programming language, because programming languages change every year, but I mostly teach students to think, to use their brain. So think before you start coding, think what do I actually need to make, how can I chop it up, how can I make it manageable, and only then start coding. That's what I find the most important aspect to teach to students. Remember. The opportunities for uh, my students to, uh, to find a job are very high because uh, Fontes University is situated in the Brainport region of the Netherlands. That means we have a lot of technical companies here like ASML and Philips. Uh, we also have the high-tech campus available here at, uh, in Eindhoven and the technical university. So there's a conglomerate of companies who all want our technical and ICT students. So they have a lot of opportunities. Because there are a lot of ICT companies uh, uh, concentrated around Eindhoven, it's very easy for our students to get a job after they graduate. But also during their uh, studies, it's, it's relatively easy to find uh, assignments for internship and for graduation assignments. And most of the time companies will get to know you during an internship or a graduation assignment and then they just hire you. So it's very easy. Okay, so the, the kind of jobs you get, yeah, it really depends on uh, where you graduate, of course. Uh, because m most of the time you end up at a company where you graduate. Uh, but it also depends on what kind of specializations did you do. Because we have minors like uh, IBMS, it's about uh, business and business intelligence, or a virtual reality minor, or you could do a minor uh, when you want to do uh, further education for a master at a technical university. Uh, so it really depends uh, what you want. Um, so come here and have a look what kind of companies there are, decide what you like and go for it. About ICT, <coughs> you talk about ICT itself or ICT related things, like we're doing here now, it's not really ICT but ICT related. And if we look at these enormous different areas, um, you could say we have that administrative logistic kind of uh, software engineering and we have the technical part of it but as a matter of fact they uh, both have a track like analyze and analyze is uh, in here like uh, what kind of processes what kind of actions are there and if you look at this part there's also analyze. This is the techniques, and this is what we call software engineering. And the software engineering is split up in a B part, being the business part, and <coughs> the software engineering parts. The analyze stage of both says uh, try to discover what kind of processes, what kind of actions are involved and what do you want to achieve. So what you want to achieve is in this case is uh, the specification. So in here we have the specs and from there we start to build. The building that this is a question of uh, design and is a question of design here as well. <clears throat> so if you say what is special in these several areas, uh, I would say this complete stage 
uh, is the technical part of embedded software, roboting, all that uh, kind of uh, apparatus. And if you look at this one, this has to do with administrative, logistic, software engineering. We split it up most of the time in two parts, like uh, this part at the left side is the business informatics and the part at the right side is uh, design and implementation and this one is the, the software engineering side. They more or less are thought to all our students, so at start we will have these uh, three different areas, one, two and this one <laughs> all together. Uh, in our first semester to all our students and after that we specialize people who like to do the business process side like analyzing and specifying and setting up requirements for normal uh, administrative logistic systems <coughs> the other ones who like to implement to design implement all kind of software all kind of applications will choose for this area and the guys who like to do the technical stuff like embedded software having uh, robots running they do the the third area okay that's i guess the answer on the first one <coughs> well it's uh if you look what happens in in eindhoven itself we have uh, a lot of companies involved companies connected to Fontes saying uh, please uh, come over for doing your graduation internship and a lot of them also offer temporary jobs or if your skills are well uh, jobs long term and you could have uh, a permit to stay in the Netherlands but if you look this guys from this area where will they be so they will be at our partners of Fontes. So as you know, Eindhoven has a, has a lot of uh, ICT related companies. Uh, the huge ones like uh, ASML, producing the machines to produce chips. Uh, Philips Healthcare, Philips Lightning, Logica, uh, Atos Origin. So <coughs> they get in uh, global in global companies so this is uh, one big part uh, like Philips, Logica etc they get in huge uh, global software houses so the global software houses like Atos Origin or uh, the Departments from Philips, uh, Annexp, etc. Uh, they got uh, ten thousands of employees worldwide in all kind of countries, and we have uh, a lot of them sitting on what we call the high tech campus. And on the high tech campus, <coughs> a lot of your former students have got a job over there, temporarily or long lasting. It's even so that the, the guys uh, in here and there, they shift from the senior consultancy higher up. So what we see is uh, a lot of you graduating there will have uh, a company tutor, which once started like you over there as a, as a student and getting there a, a job. And what we see is uh, people... Uh, from India, people from all kind of countries in, in uh, Africa and, and Asia having the tutorship of our new graduation or internship students doing their job there. So this is a, a vast area of opportunities over there. Well, the thing of finding a job is uh, they will do their internship and their graduation in one of these companies in a circle of uh, 30, 40, 50 kilometers from, uh, from Eindhoven. 
depends on their uh, interest. We also see students going to Brussels to the European commun community. People who like uh, other things like Amsterdam, uh, they, uh, they spend some uh, half year over there for some reason. Uh, but if you look, uh, these, <coughs> these uh, internships might be used to uh, get acquainted to each other. That means uh, students start to like the company and the company likes to start the student and it might have the consequence that they, uh, they get a contract over there. Uh, on the other hand, there are a lot of uh, companies over here in uh, e-business kind of things, in uh, cloud, in web applications, in mobile apps, in whatever. Uh, the city of Eindhoven has a lot of minor organizations of uh, some 10, 15 employees where you might be part of. So I guess there will be far in the environment, no, uh, no city where so much opportunities are in, in uh, getting a job as uh, in Eindhoven. And, and so so the, kind, the kind of job, if, uh, if a student is uh, as a little bit intellect, I always say they must have uh, a mission, a vision, a goal, and a strategy. Like uh, you must know, you must have a dream, but you must also have uh, an idea where you want to go to, and not like uh, the idea where you want to stay, because uh, perhaps you must have a plan each five years to do the next step. That means people starting here. Uh, hopefully you don't stay on the very same chair the rest of your life. <coughs> Another thing is that uh, if you look at needed skills and new technologies, things in ICT tell that each five years you have rather new techniques, rather new ideas, and your original skills, your original education uh, is, yeah, covering perhaps 50% of what's happening in the world. So you stay in school the rest of your life, at least you have to educate and look after new technologies, because otherwise within 10 years you're an old fashioned guy knowing old fashioned ideas and you're getting nowhere. So <laughs> where will this get? It depends on you. How much guts do you have? And this is, uh, this is important that you have uh, at least each five year for yourself, you must have a, a new plan. It might be something like getting married or new kids or having a new job. And you will shift, you will shift in this area. That means if you've done a lot of this one, you will shift to uh, the organizational side or perhaps to the more technical side. So be so flexible that you somewhere in this triangle can go from A to B. It will make you... Hi, I'm Max. Uh, I'm from Germany and uh, I'm studying at Fontys uh, Hogeschool ICT, uh, the ICT and Software Engineering course, which um, yeah, offers students uh, a lot of practical hands-on on programming uh, experience, as well as uh, the required theory to uh, to develop and implement an information system and uh, I think the study course um, brings together all technologies uh, in a way that the student already apply it uh, inside of a school within projects and really developing from a website to a mobile app until a more traditional desktop environment and uh, yeah I would encourage everybody uh, interested in programming as well as um, uh, yeah, technological parts uh, to uh, follow this course. Uh, the main difference between this uh, software engineering course and the other courses offered by Fonsis, I think it's that you really apply the theory and knowledge you get from uh, from your semesters uh, in real time uh, in real sorry uh, in real world projects, uh, which uh, yeah, might be interesting to look into and uh, that also helps you uh, 
for instance, gaining more experience as a project manager, managing also these software projects. And this can be, I think, very interesting and not only theoretical. And uh, yeah. If I had the choice to uh, choose again between all the different study courses, I think I would again take the software engineering course because uh, it integrates a lot of uh, aspects, technologies and also uh, knowledge that might be useful later on in your, uh, in your work life as well as in the coming years in your studies and uh, which builds a profound uh, base for uh, yeah, your work life later as a software developer or as a project manager and uh, yeah and for me I think it's uh, yeah, it includes everything I'm interested in and uh, I would really like to build upon the knowledge I gained here so far and uh, yeah, in the near future uh, get into detail in uh, one topic and uh, yeah, maybe this might be my uh, lifetime uh, proficiency. In your third year you have also an internship and uh, in my case um, I uh, already applied for uh, internships that uh, deal mostly with uh, web development since web development is the, uh, yeah, the part of the field that I'm interested in but um, because of my choice of my minor, uh, I'm also interested in business intelligence positions and uh, I think with the knowledge you gain until you enter uh, your internship uh, gives you also a good base to uh, yeah, apply for all different kinds of internships and the IT sector I think uh, has a lot of opportunities so um, yeah you can start as a software developer as a mobile app developer, website developer, and there are a lot of things that uh, a student could look into uh, his internship. After I uh, finish this bachelor and I have my degree uh, of uh, Bachelor of Information System, um, there are a lot of possibilities that I can uh, look into as a job or my first job uh, experience. And uh, yeah, it, it covers everything again from uh, being a software developer, uh, building up uh, the acquired knowledge to become later on a project uh, manager. You can, uh, yeah, IT is I think applied in every kind of sector and uh, yeah, there are a lot of uh, topics that has to be covered and I think there is a big potential for uh, yeah, future developers, also creative and innovative uh, solutions are asked and uh, yeah, there's a big market wait waiting.